of following the Governor General Mary Simon and her husband Whit Fraser, uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau making his way uh, through the receiving line of Brian Mulroney's family, beginning, of course, with his wife of uh, many, many decades, Mila Mulroney. Uh, he'll make his way through that procession and then pay his respects uh, to the former Prime Minister at the head there where the casket rests. Uh, Pierre Polyev, the leader of the Federal Conservative Party, alongside his wife, has just arrived to the building as well. We do expect all current party leaders to be paying their respects. Uh, as you've seen, former prime ministers here, as well as a number of diplomats from many different countries right around the world. Uh, the U.S. ambassador who will join us in a little while, uh, Graham, as well, of course, a number of guests already pointing to the significance of the relationship that Brian Mulroney developed with the United States. Uh, not, you know, something that he he was always popular for, but ended up having a ton of expertise that he lended to the gentleman on the screen right in front of us, uh, the prime minister, as he renegotiated the deal that Brian Mulroney negotiated in the first place. And and his father, uh, Pierre Trudeau, uh, just doing some reading in Mr. Mulroney's book last night, um, the, the rivalry, the bitterness between mm -hmm. Mulroney and Trudeau Sr. was extraordinary. And the fact that he forged this relationship with Justin Trudeau, um, he said for the good of the country, is speaks volumes. Um, you saw, of course, Justin Trudeau going down the family line and greeting the family, given the bitterness between the two fathers, yeah. uh, Pierre Trudeau and Brian Mulroney, um, putting that aside at times like this and at many times. And we can see he's... Uh, Writing, writing a personal a message. Yeah, a personal trying, message I'm trying to see what, yeah. what exactly. So I'm sure. I'm sure we will uh, get a shot of that. Well, and very, sure. as you know, very few people have been in this, in the, in this position. Yeah. You know, look, uh, Justin Trudeau's numbers are way down. He's doing unpopular things. In his mind, he's doing it for the country, and he's going to take the hits. In his speech yesterday, he talked about that and how Brian Mulroney took the hits. Brian Mulroney took all the heat, uh, and he said for the good of the country, and he defended that uh, his entire life. And he said that's the prime minister's job. And many people in the country have very, very different views about Justin Trudeau, but Justin Trudeau clearly believes he's doing similar things in different ways, but similar things for the good of the country. And of course, uh, history will it, it decide that. It was so interesting to hear former prime minister and former rival Joe Clark talk about uh, the ambition and the vision, you know, the combination of those two things. And I think that that combination did have and it did make an impression on this country. If you listen to the way in which people talk about his, him being consequential, right? Like that's not how you can describe every, it's hard to be consequential when you're worried about being reelected, right? And we're a small country. Yeah. We're a small country and, and Mulroney did not accept that. And I, I, I agree, like um, in, in many ways, we were a middle power or a smaller power uh, punching above its weight with Mr. Mulroney. Um, you could argue, uh, Similar things have to happen for similar prime ministers, but I think it, it is a fair assessment of the Mulroney record that whether it's apartheid, whether it's free trade, acid rain, mm -hmm. whether it's some of the other major things that we became involved in as a country, um, I, I, I think history will look at that time as as significant for Brian Mulroney and a consequential prime minister. And just just speaking of sort of.